All right, we're back here picking up where we left off. We were starting a new drawer here. <clears throat> we'll start off with the Alpine. It has input. Yeah, we have a pre-out. So let me pause this for a second. This amp was wonderful. It was in one of my builds. It did all my highs. I even had it bridged down to like one ohm. And it's two ohm stable. And it took it. So we're right here. We're looking at the pre-out. So we want a white cap. And a red one. Okay. Done with the uh, Alpine. What is this? MRP F250. I think out, out there I got the MRP F350. Alright, hold on a second. It's a two channel out there. Alright, next one. We got a input pass through. We got a Rockford, a little mini Rockford. Alright, let's get it out. Hold on. It's a cool little amp. Okay, so we got the pass through. We got a white one. And Z red one. Alright. And we got the rock for done. What is this? A little uh, 500 water. It's a nice little amp. Nice clean power right there. Alright, let me get the next one. Next one is a precision power state of the art PPI. And it has no. It's not a pass through. It's like an 800 watt ampere. That's a nice amp. I really never fucked with that one too much, but it's got some balls to it. All right, we got an old school 120A2. Let's see, these old ones I don't think have any pass through. What do we got here? Yeah, we just got a left and right channel, so we're good there. All right, back in the Rockford world. Here's a nice little Rockford. Because, oh, that's a heavy little fucker. Here's a Rockford Punch. 202. Does it have any pass-through? No, just an input. There's a crack in it. That sucks. Oh, no, it's not cracked. It's actually just scratched. Uh, it's a little switch. This is a really nice amp. Put something on it there. It's in decent shape. It's got power pr protect and thermal. Pretty sweet. All right. Let's put this back. Cover with a rag so it doesn't get scratches all over it. Right, put the PPI back in. We're about done with it. Pretty much done with that drawer. Right. That drawer's done. Right. Oh, we got this. This monster amp up here. Look, it's as long as the cabinet. Does it have outputs? This is the one that my son used, and he um, melted his terminal, but you can still use it. Thank God. This is the Profile Claris. Line out, it does. So we're going to pop a little hole in it. Get a red and a white. Put these on. White. Get the red on here. I want to make the hole too fucking big. Shit, I almost had it. There we go. Bingo. There we go. Got the outputs on that done. That old big old 
Big motherfucker here. I've never seen any of these, but small ones. This is the 1200, the big daddy. That's a nice one for my collection. That's a monster amp. As you can see, it's big. Oh, gotta stare at all the goodness. Look at all the goodness. Oh, yeah. Some beautiful subwoofer boxes here, bud. <clears throat> Even got the boxes to my two up there. My two 1800. Alright, next next drawer. What do we got? Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, there's another 751. This has low crossfire 140. That's a nice that amp fucking holds its own. No shit. Alright, we got a kicker down here, 750. And it has input output. It has an output. Let's get a couple caps on it real quick. Output. Okay. Don't get it. Oh, you guys, I used to love my kicker ZX's, man. That's why I still have a bunch of them. Alright, man. So that drawer's done, that drawer's done, and that drawer's done. What do we got in this drawer? Oh, fuck. In this drawer, we have a JL Audio. What is this? A 251 monoblock. And what looks to believe that we have low pass, full range, high, pre out. You can do output mode. Oh, wow. You can do full range, low pass, or high pass on the output. That's pretty fucking sweet. And this too is a monoblock. block. Hold on a second. Got the jail done. Super it back up. Whoa. Got like these goodness here. Okay, that one's done. Set this down here. Let's check the Orion. The Orion has Looks to me like it's just an input. Yeah. This is the Orion. This is a 250SX. This is my first and only Orion. I finally got my hands on one now. Pretty nice. Why is there a fuse there? Oh, that's right. I fused that for some reason. I don't remember, but for a reason. Alright, that's done. Next drawer. Nothing. Is that Star Trek? Yeah. And. Oh, I forgot about that, Ian. Oh, I want to use these in my doors. These, uh, jail audio XRs. This is a badass amp. American made power acoustic USA baby right there. 500 watts. So it does about 300. It's a nice amp. It only has an input. So, alright. We got a lot done, man. Did all those. So now we're down to the bin. Everything's done with the bin. Excuse me. These are fucking cards too. 
God damn it. I don't want them fucking sideways. Hold on. Alright. So the bin's what's left. And it's filled. So I don't know if I want to even get involved in this tonight. But I was thinking about this. Pulling this Rockford out. At least just two channels, right? Yeah. Got two rod for two channels. And then I got two 2.3s and 1.4.6. I have any outs. They're both ends. And then in this one, I got a lot of MTXs and Rockfords in here. And even one sound designer. Right, well, we'll do this bin last. So we'll make a part three to this and do the bin last. Because I worked out of town all day today. I'm tired. Pick these caps up and call it the night. Uh, set the caps here for now. But yeah, I two-toned this box. I think it came out pretty sweet. This is a scorpion box. Yeah. It's a badass fucking box. Heavy. Holy fuck is it heavy. That box is decent to NEP. That hammers. And some JLs. Brand new. Listen to that. I'll have a good sound. So... That and I kept all my bows too. I got the 201s and the three or four oh ones. I think they're the four oh ones. Super nice. And I kept a record player and a VCR. It's down the road. Nobody will fucking know what those are anymore. I swear to God. People might still be fucking with VHS. So we're going to end the movie there. That's pretty much. Other than that bin there, which is a huge bin. Everything is pretty much caught up. And you can see that's nothing compared to what I got in baseball cards, man. I've been trying to slowly collect full sets and shit. But I got a ton of full sets. So that big green one down there, that huge green tote, that's all full sets and binders. Each page. I got that bin full, that bin full, that bin full, that bin full, and then I got stacks to the ground, where are they at, right there, there's a stack, I think the rest are stuck in this bin here, so, that's about it for now, man. Got a lot of racing. That whole thing's racing. It's pretty fucking cool. You can see some of these cars are so old. These aren't that old, but what the fuck are these? Wow, look how bad they're sticking. There's Josh. So we looking at here. I don't even know what year these are. Let's see. 1995. Frank Thomas, Kirby Puckett. Them kind of weird ones. Let me jump into these. Oh, I see some cow. Looking at shit real quick. Just, I'm coming. I didn't even see these. Cal Jr. Will Clark. Ken Griffey Jr. I don't know if that's a real card. Uh. Yeah. He might be locked out. I don't know. It might have been locked. Will you run down and let him in? That's probably him at the door. Run down, let him in. Tell Zephyr or you. 
Probably. Seven was in last. Because I like to keep shit locked up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> These are cool looking. God damn, my nose is bleeding. Look at it, it's like a million Andy Van Slikes. What the fuck? Two fucking pages of them. Oh my god, here's another one. Like, why would you put all these in binder or pages and waste pages? Oh, that's cool looking. Check that out. Hmm. I got a lot of basketball, but I never really fucked with them as far as making sets. Crazy. These are old. These are seventies here. Everybody good though. Bob Warner. Seventy-seven. What's this last one? Wade Boggs. Yeah, buddy. Collect the book. Oh, I don't even think that's a card. Yeah, it is. Oh, and then puzzle pieces. All right, man. That'll end the movie. Wish you all good night. Peace.